Good morning, Cal U. I'm student meteorologist Aaron Hegley, and I'm here to talk to you about the upcoming weather system we have later tonight. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of a forecast down the road for the weekend and then into spring break. So let's begin with the current radar. And uh, so what we're looking at here is a decent uh, low pressure system that is moving through the Midwest. And uh, it's going to be, I'll put in the play here, it's going to be moving across into the East Coast region. And I want to specifically look at, uh, right now uh, in the southeast here, moving through Tennessee, upstate uh, Georgia. Um, we do have some decent severe weather, and I will show you that in the, uh, in the future. Um, this storm will be working its way across the Midwest and into our region later tonight, and I have more on that for you. So going down to the south here, this is a product from the National Weather Service, the Severe uh, Prediction Center. Um, and they put out this forecast for severe storm probabilities. So they've d they have put out a slight risk um, for Georgia and uh, into Alabama and a um, little bit of Mississippi. And this is essentially meaning that this severe thunderstorm line or squall line as we call it could uh, potentially produce decent thunderstorms and maybe even um, convection that could allow for a tornado. Um, and so this is just important. Um, for the southeast and so what we're going to talk about now is that what is going to be impacting us um, later tonight and into tomorrow early morning. So this is looking at a future radar product and so this is going to look at when this storm is going to be coming through our region. So roughly around this time stamp is going to be about 7 o'clock tonight we should see some precipitation moving in. The uh, um, important thing I want to point out is this pink line you can see on the board. Um, that is the freezing line. So what we're going to see mainly tonight should be almost all entirely rain until maybe the very end of this storm might pass through, maybe some snowflakes tonight, but no real accumulation. And so the storm is going to move, move through around 7 o'clock, begin, and move out roughly about 3 in the morning tomorrow. Um, and so I want to give you um, a look now at the winds that um, will be happening tonight and into tomorrow because the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh just declared a wind advisory for us from uh, 6 o'clock tonight till 5 a.m. tomorrow. And so this is looking at today um, at 1 o'clock. Um, you can see here we're kind of in this gray zone, light winds, 4 or 5 knots, nothing um, too major. But you can see looking into that um, issue period around tonight, this is at 7 o'clock tonight, we're starting to see these winds from this low pressure system creep in here. And uh, again, these winds are right now for California, roughly almost 10 knots. Um, but as we move in tonight, when this issue period, when we're in that middle of the issue period, this would be tonight um, or tomorrow morning, actually 1 a.m., we're seeing these lighter shades here of blue. And if you look over here, that's about 15 knots, okay? So um, about 20, 25 mile an hour winds possible um, with gusts even higher, close up to 50 um, miles per hour. And so we step this through tomorrow morning then, 7 a.m., you can see these winds are still lingering around, but they're starting to dissipate. This line has probably moved to a little more central PA. Um, and then um, the next thing I want to talk about is our spring break. Everyone's excited for this. And uh, so this is a product that is pretty much shows a couple different um, variables. One of them is temperature, which is denoted by this squiggly line. You have your max and your mins. And this is um, the pink is your maximum temperature, black is your minimum. And so you can see here, over here, um, where we're at today, um, we're going to be getting into the 60s and dropping off as that uh, low pressure and that front moves through. It is going to get about freezing tonight, and then pretty cold tomorrow, about freezing, then we're going to drop down even more. But if you look towards this end of our period here, into this weekend, Sunday, Monday, and then spring break, we're climbing back into the 60s. Um, so if you're hanging around California or in Pennsylvania, look for this, uh, temperatures in the 60s. If you're heading your way down to Florida, I'm sure it's going to be warmer than that. But uh, the general consensus is that the East Coast will be warming over the weekend and into next week. So I hope you guys enjoy your spring break. I'm Aaron Hegley, and I'll see you next week.